right, coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. All right, so here is the UFC champion, Henry Cejudo, took Olympic gold in Beijing back in 2008. This man is a winner in every sense of the word. He's an absolute winner, and he did win in 2008, but I say go back to 2007. When we walked into the World Championship in Azerbaijan, Henry Cejudo was 34 of 35 guys in the weight class. Fast forward a year ahead, Amazing. he's the Olympic champion. But then that applies to Demetrius Johnson. He got beat by DJ the first time, knocked out in one round. Fast forward three years, he beats him by decision and becomes the UFC champion. Henry Cejudo is just a winner. And in a lot of respects, just getting started. We'll see how it goes for the messenger here tonight. Well, this fighter has read the Marquess of Queensbury rules cover to cover. Truly one of the best boxers we have in the UFC today, and he works everything off of that jab. Oh, yeah, the jab is what got him to the show. He is just a phenomenal boxer, and John, I love you throwing out the Queensberry rules in the walkout for this man because he signifies everything that is boxing. He's a guy that loves the sport. He wanted to take boxing on his back and bring it to mixed martial arts and show that it, it is as an effective form of combat as anything else. He said, I'll walk away from an Olympic opportunity to take my sport into the octagon and show that we are the best fighters in the world. And he's done that to this point in the UFC. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Greco-Roman wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, Henry the Messenger Zahudo. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York, Iron! All right, commit the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. Well, every time we walk into this here Madison Square Garden, I think I would always think about you in 2017. It was UFC 217 championship triple header, and it was Thug Rose. It was the most insane night of fighting ever. This St. St. Pierre. Cody Garbrandt got knocked out by TJ Dillashaw. Then Rose Namajunas knocked out Joanna Yashaychek, and we absolutely went crazy. One of the greatest pictures of announcers in sports history. It was all three of us, and we looked like that poster with the monkey. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. It was crazy. What a phenomenal night in a great arena. Well, we talked about that reach advantage. Oh, nice job of that takedown and scramble to his feet. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Cejudo. He continues to evolve as a striker. Hands higher, hands higher. Just out of range with that right hand. A big punch lands through the middle. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this junction. That right hand hurt him a little bit. And they separate. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. It got defended, but it will give Henry the idea that takedown may be coming. Jockey in for position here on the clinch. Both fighters trying to get a more dominant position. Big Paul punch land. Now he gets back to range. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off his strikes. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Henry Cejudo. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter, and I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though, I see. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. It's not over. It's not over. Keep moving. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Jab up top, by Sohuda. Oh, now he's in trouble. Somehow stays in the fight. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Both fighters throwing heat now. Blocks the shot. Just a slip there. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Now connects with the right. Got the single collar tie. Boy, tie plump. Nice punch lands over the top. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Right hand punch. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off him. That strike blocked by Cejudo. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Big kick lands. Nice straight right is there for Cejudo. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Final seconds of round one. Nice straight punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at how he drives his feet right yeah. into his opponent's oh. midsection. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Nice leg kick land. Beautiful combination there. And there comes the separation now. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. 
Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And lands an elbow on the inside. Shot to the body now blocked by Cejudo. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of... All right, so a near-perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, he's able to get him down there. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top of the All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. So Hudo's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, he moved right into the kick there. A kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. Head kick. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Wow, huge head kick. Oh, body kick is there for Cejudo. Oh! Big knee to the body! And both guys really throwing with authority. Single collar tie now. Straight right, he misses. And again shoots for a takedown. Again takedown stuff. Alright, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well that he drops a big right hand after it. He may be able to finish his fight. Nice punch, land. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Cejudo. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. And now he's got the tight clinch. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Battle for position here. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. He gets to a spot, the tight clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. How good is that right now? Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Right hook to the body. Back and forth we go. Chad there, man. It's like you know what's coming. You can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round.
All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coach yelled, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Cejudo goes for the clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stunned. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Single collar tie there. Oh, strong punch there by Cejudo. Very tricky when you throw that body. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's incoming. Oh, nice. Nice. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, that's a beautiful left hand count. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Man! Knee to the body. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Oh, single collar tie here. Misses with the right hand. Yeah, that one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Able to check the high kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Try to establish that jab. Like that oh. Two first. Serve him up. Go get him. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. The Olympic gold medalist, Cejudo, gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Slips that left hand. Oh! He's out! Unbelievable! A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 20 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by... Oh, 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 yeah. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout. But he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.